So gate 2024 is 10 months away. A lot of you may think that it is a lot of time and you can start your preparation later like somewhere in July or August but I want to talk to you about why you need to start right now and it is just enough time not a lot of time and I'll also give you a detailed plan for gate civil to how you can manage and plan your preparation. So let's get started. So here I have made a plan for 240 days. Now you will tell me that we have 10 months and that means around 300 days so if you know that in at least last one or two months you need to put a lot of effort on giving tests revise the subjects that you have studied now if you are studying only for the whole 300 days then you will miss out on the revision part that's why i've cut it down and given eight months here for your study and completing some basic revision also not that you should forget the subjects that you are studying right now so about 240 days we can take from here that's what you have now assuming that you have not prepared for gate in the past i'll show you how things look like so for a subject like strength of materials 24 days structural analysis 24 days how i have taken these days so uh, based on the weightage and along with like Based on my understanding how much time it takes to for an average student to finish these subjects, I have taken these. It can take something more and something less based on how you are in that subject right now if you have studied it in the past and such reasons. So based on that you can change these number of days also. So in this video I will also give you a study plan in Google Sheet form. and that plan you can modify according to your needs and it will help you throughout your preparation so let's keep watching now here you can see for rcc 14 days something like soil mechanics 22 days and maths 29 days now i have given this time i have broken this total number of days in your first time reading first time reading and then allocating some days for the revision also because you can't just read any subject once and expect to remember it so you will need to re revise the subject now if you say that sir you have left december and january for revision so it does not mean that something that you are studying in april something that you are studying in april you will revise in december that will not work you will not remember anything from that subject leave for december you will not be able to remember the subject that you are studying in april even in july even in July you will feel that you have to completely start fresh for that subject. So keep that in mind so you can't spend all these 24 days or all these 29 days as I've written for maths for your first studying cycle itself you need to leave some time for revision also so that's why I have broken it down into first reading plus revision. You can see that studying SOM in 14 days studying structural analysis in 14 days studying fluid mechanics in 14 days now if you have not prepared in the past or if you have no idea i will tell you that these are difficult to achieve numbers like if you have no idea what are the topics in SOM and if you haven't studied them in the past then two weeks will feel less for you because it takes time to grasp these topics and these are very fundamental subjects also that's my point to tell you that you don't have a lot of time this is just sufficient time to prepare but it is not a lot of time so don't delay your preparation don't keep it off for july or august or something like that if you can even if you are going through some i mean even if you are working in a job or even if you are in college even if you can allocate a little bit of one or two hours per day this much of time if you can allocate for your preparation it will give you a good start instead of if you start your preparation let's say something in july so that's my point here that try to start right now don't wait till the end now i have given percentage time allocated like based on my understanding but I'll give you the plan in which you can change this uh, percentage based on if you if you have studied some subject already very well or if you have understanding for any of the subjects properly. So in that case it will take you fewer number of days. 
now the point about revision uh, i want to tell you but before that let me show you the uh, one more important part that is the weightage or in gate when we are talking about gate civil now you might spend too much time uh, on something like steel or something like surveying hydrology but you need to understand that gate has gate civil has a particular pattern and certain subjects hold a lot of weightage now two years ago a student uh, started reading something like environment towards the end of the january now that was a huge mistake so these kind of problems happen why because environmental engineering if you see it holds 10 percent of the weightage it is one of the mostly asked subjects in gate so you can't leave it off until january or something like that you need to keep prioritize these subject and study them in advance so environment soil is there transportation is there maths is there maths aptitude these and then fluid is there these subject you need to prioritize and not leave until the end so here you can understand you can uh, note it down or take a picture from here to see the weightage of these different subjects and based on that allocate or prioritize those subjects first because they are bigger subjects but also hold a lot of weightage in gate now i want to talk to you about the revision part so as i was saying that if you are studying some subject in april and if you keep it off until like three months or four months then you can't remember this subject like you can't this is how our memory works so if we have retention versus number of days plotted then in that case this is how the retention goes down soon after you finish studying that or soon uh, once you have done studying that topic quickly this retention or your understanding or knowledge of that subject goes down and to avoid that you need to revise it pretty much like if you are studying and finishing one subject today then you need to revise that topic within two weeks your first first time reading or first time understanding will go away very soon so you need to consolidate that within two weeks of studying it so if you are finishing a subject today then within 15 days towards the end of the april you need to allocate two to three days to revise that subject then further like your second revision can be a bit late so if you are finishing it at the end of april then next time you can revise that topic in may and the third revision further you can give more gap then you can re revise some somewhere in august or around that time so that way you will be able to consolidate this information till your gate exam and after august maybe you can keep it till november or december you won't have to keep reading it every one month but initially initially in the first 15 days or first 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 month of your uh, topic you need to make sure you revise it otherwise you will forget it and it is a very common problem with students that they forget whatever subjects they are gonna study within these three four months they will be like by the time of october they forget all these topics so make sure you keep this thing in mind that first revision within two weeks second revision one month after that so 1.5 month after your first reading and third revision will be around three to four months later so based on that plan your revision also and here on this plot you can see what are the total number of days available to you for each of the subject and you can i mean this uh, sheet will help you manage your preparation well so here i've written for 240 days and percentage time allocated based on my understanding but personally it can be different for you so to help you with that i have attached i have given a link and using that link you can go to our website or app and there is a pdf file with this study plan and in that pdf file there is the google sheet link so that sheet once you download or you can make your own copy and make modifications as per your requirements there is also a monthly planner so you can use that in your preparation as well so do download it 
and let me know if you have any questions and i'll be happy to help you so currently we are running 55 percent discount on our courses till april 15th and you can reach out to me reach out on the whatsapp number or or our mail id that is support at the rate apicd.in all the links will be in the description so you can reach out to us and we'll be happy to help you with your preparation